안녕하세요 김쌤 again In this video I'm gonna be talking about Korean textbook Choosing textbook is one of the most important thing when you learn Korean I'm planning to make two videos about textbook This is part one And in this video I'm gonna tell you how to find the best textbook for you Not for others but yourself I'm gonna suggest three steps to find the best textbook for you And I don't want to promote any textbook just want to give you useful tips to find the best book and in the next video I'm gonna introduce free Korean textbooks that are legally free to use and they're really great so if you want to watch this video and continue to watch the next video subscribe my channel and set the alarm on Korean class. There are so many Korean textbooks. Many textbooks are good news for learners, but sometimes learners are wondering and confusing which textbook is the best for them. On YouTube, most of the information about Korean textbooks are just for promotion, uh, but nobody tells you how to find the best textbook for you. Before you pay for the textbook, you have to think about if that textbook is the best choice for you. So I'm gonna tell you three steps you can follow to find the best textbook for you. First step is setting the purpose for learning Korean. Have you thought about why you want to learn Korean? What is your purpose? It is very important to set your purpose before you buy a textbook because you need different types of textbook depending on your purpose. Here are the five most purposes that Korean learners usually say for academic, study in Korea, for employment, to work in Korea, for hobby, like understanding K-pop or K-drama without subtitle, for marriage purpose, or preparing Korean language test like topic or EPS topic. You know, most textbooks have a specific purpose and a goal that learners can achieve when they finish the book. You can find the purpose of the textbook in the instruction part in the book. As a Korean teacher, I do not recommend such textbooks that don't clearly mention its purpose. You know, learning a foreign language is not that simple. It's huge task. So good textbooks should be written for a specific purpose and they have to clearly demonstrate it. So you need to pay attention to take a look at the first page of the book. If you want to buy it online, you can visit their website or online bookstore to find out the introduction of the book. If you set your purpose of learning and find it in the introduction of the book, you can put the textbook on your list. But if the purpose of textbook is different from your purpose or it doesn't mention any purpose of the textbook, that doesn't suit you. That's not your book. No matter who says to you, this is the best textbook ever, that's not your book. That is the first step. Second step is understanding your Korean language level. It is important to know your exact Korean language level when you choose your textbook. You know, many textbooks are published the following three language levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Do you know which is your level? Unfortunately, many Korean learners don't exactly know their language level. And sometimes the language level that they think about themselves might be different from the level that textbook says. What I mean is that we need standard to evaluate the level of learning. You know, the National Institute of Korean Language, 국립국어원, declared a standard Korean language level. According to the standard, the Korean language level is divided into six, from level one to level six. And most of the Korean language courses in universities or Korean textbooks follow this standard. Of course, I also follow this standard to evaluate my student language level. I can explain each level of 6 in detail, but it will take more than 30 minutes. And the topic of this video is not about language level. I want to focus on textbook today. So I'm just gonna show you a very short explanation of each level. You can just pause this video for a while, take a look at the explanation of each, and find out your language level. I'll give you 10 seconds. So we call level 1 and level 2 learners beginners. Level 3 and level 4 are intermediate. Level 5 and 6 are advanced. Most of the textbooks are written following this. I will show you the example. The Korean textbook Sejong Hangugo consists of total of 8 volumes and the instruction of each book mentioned the standard language level. Look at this, volume 1 and volume 2 are for level 1 learners. 
here. Volume 3 and 4 are for level 2, Volume 5 and 6 are for level 3, and Volume 7 and 8 are for level 4 learners. So we can say Sejong Hangugo can cover from level 1 to level 4 learners. Uh, Sejong Hangugo will be a good option for beginners and intermediate learners. But if you are advanced learners like level 5 or 6, Sejong Hangugo is not the best option for you. Another example textbook is Gyeonghi Hangugo that are published by Gyeonghi University. I don't have the book, but I could find the introduction of the book on their website. Look at this. Chogup. This is for beginner and it says that the textbook for beginners is for level 1 learners following standard level system. Chungup. The intermediate textbook is for level 3 and the textbook for the advanced Gogup is for level 5 learners. Like Sejong Hangugo and Gyeonghi Hangugo, many Korean textbook mention its level following standard level system. Even if it just says beginners, intermediate, or advanced, you have to understand the meaning of beginners. That's level 1 or 2, intermediate is level 3 and 4, and advanced is level 5 or 6 learners. It's very important to understand your level and choose the right textbook for you. That is the second step. Last step is this. You have to think about what function of language you want to focus on. Language is consists of four main functions. They are speaking, listening, reading, and writing. When choosing a textbook, you should consider which language function you are going to focus on. Most textbook shows clearly which function is mainly focused on. Some textbooks are integrated. The integrated textbook is usually recommended for beginners like level 1 or level 2 learners. Also, higher level learners can use it if it suits their learning purpose. However, if you say, I'm an intermediate learner but I'm not good at speaking, I recommend you use, choose a speaking textbook for level 3 or level 4. Or maybe you say, my purpose is watching K-dramas without subtitle. For you, I can recommend a listening textbook. Alright, in this video, I was talking about how to find the best textbook for you. If you follow the three steps that I told you, you can find the best textbook for you. In the next video, I'm gonna introduce free Korean textbooks you can legally use for free. They are really awesome. Thank you guys. 다음에 또 만나요. 안녕!